Hello and welcome back to Mercenaries. In the last part, we did a job for the Russian mob. And in this part, we're gonna make use of their this nope nope. Ah, where's the civilian car? There. Stop it. Stop. 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 There we go. I am taking your car. I'm confiscating this car. Okay. See ya. Anyway, we're gonna make use of this civilian car that was kindly donated to the mercenary cause, you know, by stealing it. And we're gonna go drive off to meet the Chinese. Uh oh, wait, actually, let me look around. Uh, one of my favorite vehicles in the whole game is usually around here. And if you played this game before, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. <gasps> ah! Hey, finally! That's what I was looking for last episode, the very beginning of it. Um, okay, let's see. I will get back to that in just a second, but first I want to look around a little bit more. Um, in case you're wondering, you look around the environment with uh, the right stick, and if you drive, it just kind of centers the camera behind you again. Uh, I'm not even hearing any. Uh, not hearing anything from what I normally know to be around here. Not seeing it on the mini-map. Maybe they just don't appear yet. Oh, well. Anyway. Um, ah, ah, no, no, not the... Ow! Stupid building. I ought to, I ought to demolish you, but... I don't have the money. When I have the money, I'll come back and kill that building. Anyway, now, as you can see... Whoa! Jeez, I almost ran right into that person. Uh, y there are actual very nasty consequences for running into people. Uh, like little civilians. It's not something you want to do. So, I'm going to go ahead and order the surgical strike. And when you order one, um, it gets put on your menu. And you have one use. At least I think you only have one use. Um, and what you want to do, if you ever see a statue like this, where it's General Song, or just any statue, there are no statues of good people, uh, go ahead and get an airstrike, or just a really powerful weapon, if you, uh, feel like using ammo, and go ahead and light it up. Roger, target received. Bombs free. Um, what? Wait, wait, hang on, I know there's... Korean guys trying to run me over. And yeah, I'm gonna rocket you. Oh, what, 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 what? Ball. You know what? Die. That's better. Okay. How did this not hit him? Hang on, wait, let me see. Uh, no, 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 I don't switch weapons. I wanna shoot him. Okay, there we go. Song, Guardian of the People. When you destroy people, uh, when you destroy statues like that, you get both money and reputation with the South Koreans. So that's another thing that's very worth doing. Uh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. I want to punch him. There. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, well, I'm going to have to walk to China. That kind of blows, but okay. Uh, I'm going to need a car. Oh, hey, bus. That's mine. That bus is so mine. Bus, 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 bus. Every vehicle in the game can be hijacked. Every single vehicle in the game can be hijacked. Just keep that in mind. If you ever see a vehicle... That's giving you trouble. Like, you can't destroy... Uh, no. Ah, okay. Let me go ahead and explain this. Some vehicles around here, like on the mini-map, there should be like a dollar sign right here. Okay, not anymore, but... Um, there are dollar signs on the mini-map. And usually what that means is that there's a car that you can get into, and you can start like a little sub-side quest, whatever you want to call it. And if you do that little side quest, and it's usually just a little, like, a driving minigame, like you just drive from point A to point B, um, if you do that minigame, you get some money. And that's really about it. Um, there are far better ways to make money, far more fun ways to make money, so I wouldn't really recommend even doing that at all. And Koreans! Ooh, you got bust! Wow! I killed him with a bus. That's awesome. I have never killed anybody with a bus in this game before, so I am incredibly proud of the fact that I killed people with a bus. Uh, aha, there's the Chinese. And the Chinese have occupied Pyongyang Airport, so there you go. Uh, the Chinese, they're, they're Chinese. What, do you, what else do you need to know about the Chinese? Anyway, go ahead and drive on in, just roll on into the Chinese place, and boom. Sorry, bus. I don't need you. Aha, right in here. You get what we got a here. speed hack. Whatever that is. Um, now that we're here at the China place, we just need to kind of walk on over there. Now, something that's really, really funny 
is that, if I remember correctly, um, the voice actor for the freaking Chinese leader is James Hong. And no, I'm not kidding. It's James Hong. Isn't that great? I mean, I'm pretty sure it is. It, it says it in the credits. You can probably find out if you, like, look it up look on Wikipedia. But I know that... I know he's an actor. But anyway, go ahead and on into the China HQ. Colonel Pang will see you. A mercenary. Violence for profit. The two hallmarks of Western ideology together in one package. My name is Colonel Zhao Pang of the People's Army. I will tell you now that I disapprove of using private contractors, but the People's Army is large and slow to rouse. If I am to secure this province for China, I must employ your services or risk losing the initiative. Working for the People's Republic involves many dangerous and unpleasant duties. Dealing with me, chief among them. Reward my trust with loyalty, and you'll have access to our considerable support. China is a vast and powerful nation. Acting as our ally means you will be unstoppable. If you are willing to help, I have a job for you. The North Koreans set up a communication to the North that allows them to spy on us. Get rid of this irritation for me, and we may have more work for you in the future. This is my associate, Captain Liu. If this contract interests you, speak to him. He will give you all the details. The door is right there. If you are not interested, please depart. Wait, do you want me to leave, or do you want me to accept the freaking contract? But, anyway. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's James Hong. I don't remember if that's his, like, if that's the name of the guy, because it's been forever since I've seen the credits of this game. But I'm pretty dang sure that's James Hong. Ugh, whatever. Anyway, I just thought that was really funny. Anyway, um, we're going to be getting into a new vehicle here. Uh, we're going to get a missile launching APC, which is freaking awesome. And APC, if you don't know, it's Armored Personnel Carrier. Uh, anyway. And we're going to get some nice stuff. We're going to get to play around with a lot of fun stuff in this mission. And after this contract, we will be free to roam wherever we wish. And we will be able to do anything we want. So we got uh, two free artillery strikes. Nice to know the end of the Cold War hasn't thawed the Chinese any. Oh, I'm sure he'll warm right up when she gets to know him. Uh, we got two free airstrikes, and this is the Type 89... Yeah, thanks. Um, tanks are great... Yeah, yeah, shut up. Um, Type 89 APC, Chinese. And um, you control all of your movement with the tank with the control stick, whereas for all the other vehicles, uh, you control it by pressing uh, buttons to move forward and go in reverse and stuff. I don't really know why they changed that, but they did, so go figure. And the right stick controls your uh, your turret, which I think makes it look great. I mean, it, it works very nice. It's a good system. And that's another something new. Uh, whenever you see an enemy, or just an NPC, with that icon above his head, just, you know, an icon of his faction, uh, he is an officer. And if you come across an officer, uh, they will be able to, to identify you through your disguise, no matter what. So if you come across a South Korean patrol, and there's an officer, and you don't want to be identified as not South Korean, then there's a good I that would be a good idea to avoid him. Now... This is a missile launcher. This works a lot different than regular tank uh, missiles. If you remember the, um, if you remember the recoilless rifles uh, from the South Korean mission, uh, they basically just controlled like a bullet. But missiles control far differently. Check it out. Okay, fire it up here, and actually steer it around. And it's kind of tricky because it just is. But it will actually go, it'll move forward and back to uh, attack what you're actually aiming at. So here, let's try doing like this. Fire it up there. And then see, it actually curved back around. It didn't get far enough, but it curved back around. And there we go. Anyway, just wanted to show off the missile launcher. I don't really like them. I really prefer just regular tank missiles. But we don't have a tank, so we're kind of stuck using this crap. Anyway. 
destroy it. Okay, I got it. Man, you're irritating. You know, like the, you know what? Fiona is the Navi of this game. All right, and it's going to teach you how to use the support items like the artillery strikes, which we already learned in the freaking first mission. Ah! What the? <laughs> um, shut up, Fiona. So annoying. Okay. This is our side objective, is to destroy these barracks. It's very worth doing, I assure you. Um, now, as you see, uh, your missiles in your tank... Uh, actually have ammo. There is a way to replenish vehicle ammo, although I don't know uh, where any would be around in this area. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that alone. Now I'm going to destroy both of these. I'm going to use the artillery strike on the other one. Alright, uh, here. Actually, I want to take that out. Boom. There we go. You can destroy alarms just like that. And, uh, and push it against people, and then crush it. <laughs> uh, here, let's see. Let's drive against that exploding... Oh, hey, wait. Actually, this might be vehicle ammo. I think so. Yep, that big box right there. That is vehicle ammo. If you see a big, large box like that, check out our ammo. Watch. Cha-ching! And we get all our ammo back. And there are also uh, vehicle health boxes that you will also want to pick up whenever you have the opportunity to. Um, so, yeah, there is a lot of stuff you can do in this game. You can get in any vehicle in the game. You can do pretty much anything you want. That is why I freaking love this game. You can do anything. It's like Oblivion, except with guns and tanks. But sadly, not a very long story. Well, huh. it's not that short, but whatever. Anyway, we have another statue here, which you want to destroy. Uh, go ahead and... Come on. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Thank you. Boom. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get out of that because I don't think we have any more ammo. And out... What the... Stupid thing. Okay. Let's go ahead and rocket. Come on, rocket. Oh, come on. Blow up already. Die. There we go. And that's some extra cash. And here... Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Let's go ahead and get our artillery strike. There we go. Ah, okay, they have these two flat guns over here. Watch out for the... Oh, jeez! Watch out for that. That that might hurt you a lot. So anyway, uh, with artillery, you have to throw a beacon. So go ahead... Oh, hey, looks like we got a thingy here. Go ahead and grab this. And lacquered scabbard. Go ahead and throw it. And you'll get the red smoke. And now you need to cheese it. Get the heck out of there. And then wait for it. Should be coming over that mountain. Yep. Uh, I think. Wait, where is it? Oh, it's coming the other way, isn't it? Well done. That's one way it takes, man. I don't know where it's coming from, but we're getting artillery strikes. <laughs> oh, whatever. Anyway. Wow, we got $90,000 for that. That's not bad. And we could also get a free tank. And we get armor... Er, army. Uh, artillery strike. Boom! You got rocketed. Um... As you uh, play the game, shut up! I get it, Fiona. You know more than I do, even though you don't. I understand. Okay. I know. Wow! I just I explained that in the last episode. Man, this game is slow. But thankfully, that's gonna be it for the tutorials. So now we can pretty much just go do whatever we want, which is gonna be awesome. But anyway, as I was saying before, or trying to say, um, as you do missions and you use different kinds of artillery strikes and vehicles and stuff, like if you use a specific tank for the mission, uh, and when you complete the mission, you generally get that special item as a reward in the shop. Generally. You don't, you're not able to buy every vehicle from the shop, sadly, but most of them you will be able to buy. So if you see a vehicle you like, just keep on playing the game, and you will probably be able to get it pretty soon. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, I don't know. Ah, crap, no, no, don't run over him! Jeez! The controls for these things, when you start running over stuff, they, they become about as slippery as greased grease in bacon grease. Oh, 
you know what? I'm getting out of I'm getting out of this stupid tank. It is so slow. Anyway, next time. Uh, wait, another one? Why do you need another one? Okay. Next time on Mercenaries, we're gonna go and do other stuff. Um, so yeah, I will hopefully get my favorite vehicle in the game. So, see you guys next time.